Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I know you've seen a lot of uh, regular acrylic painting videos on my channel here lately. I've been doing a lot of commissions. I'm still not finished. They're for Christmas gifts that people have commissioned me to do, but I'm going to throw in a pour today. It's been a while and I'm just kind of itching to do a pour and I'm going to do another attempt at Shelly's art style, Shelly Carruthers from Australia. I'll put a link below the video to her YouTube channel. She offers a class on how she does her unique bloom style, which she is famous for, really. Uh, I've been following her for a couple of years and I just love her. I think she's super uber talented. And so she has offered a course and I purchased it. And if you would like to take the course, I will put a 15% off discount code below the video. You can look for there and use that to take 15% off of her class. I think it's a hundred Australian do dollars, which is a little cheaper in the US. So uh, today I'm going to do six inch tiles and uh, instead of four inch tiles, I wanted to do four inch tiles, but I've run out of them and went to the store. And of course you can't find matte or bisque is really what I wanted. The bisque tiles, which have no glaze on them whatsoever. That's really hard to find. But the ones I had done before were given to me. They were donated to me by someone and so I ran out of those and I'm looking for more tiles and I've ordered some matte finish because these are glossy and I don't know if they even had the four inch glossy white tiles. There's so many beautiful tiles now and the, you know four inch white tiles are not hugely sought after in the decorating world. So I got six inch tiles and I did clean them with alcohol. That's what I've heard from other people that is the best way to uh, you know, just get them prepped to paint on. So, and I've also taped off the back with frog tape so that there's no fingerprints or anything like that. And um, this time I taped the edges so that there's no paint or resin when I finish doing these. If they turn out pretty, I'll resin them. I don't want resin or paint on the sides at all. The reason being the last time I used a resin that I did not care for and had some lumpy areas on the sides and so this time I thought I would forego the painted sides and just do you know taped off sides and have a nice clean edge. So that is my plan. I will include a photo at the end of the video as well with my recipe that's a take on her recipe, which over in Australia, they use different products all together. Some that we can get, but like their Floetrol is different from our Floetrol, even though it looks the same. There's a different chemical makeup, so it's been adjusted. I've looked at different people's recipes. If you join her art course, she has a free Facebook group that is private, and only if you're a paid course member can you be in that group. And in that group, they are very sharing and uh, free with their recipes. So I've just kind of looked at different people's recipes and kind of combined my own version and I got what I could find as far as brands of paint. So very quickly, there'll be a pillow of paint that I'm going to lay down that's white on top of this tile. And when I say pillow, it just means it's a wet surface to do your bloom effect on. And so what I'm using today is the Glidden Semi-Gloss Interior Paint and Primer, pure white. That's going to be my pillow. And then I made a pouring medium that's in a container here. I labeled it Bloom Pouring Medium. So that is strictly polycrylic semi-gloss, which I can't show you the can because it's opened right now. I can't turn it to show you, but I'll have a picture at the end. And then it's bare, ultra, interior high gloss enamel, deep base. So 
what this is is it's a paint base but it's kind of see-through looking it's kind of almost a tannish really thick base and then it's tinted in the store like at Home Depot but you just buy the base because you're going to mix your colors into the pouring medium so I'm using that for my ingredients so the ratio I'm using is three parts of the deep base from bare high gloss and one part of the polyacrylic gloss so you do want gloss on the polyacrylic and so that's going to be clear as well so both of those are clear together then you add your colors in to mix up your colors into the pouring medium so that's your pouring medium that's what's in this container and then you want a cell activator which I'm choosing white but you can use any color so my white cell activator is made up of two tablespoons of Floetrol latex base one tablespoon of glue one tablespoon of Amsterdam titanium white So I used that there, a tablespoon, and uh, five drops of Liquitex acrylic ink titanium white, and then a half a teaspoon of Minwax oil-based pre-stain wood conditioner so yes it is oil based it does not leave a residue so you don't have to clean it up or do anything different if you're planning on resining your stuff so just to clarify that so that's mixed up in my container here that's what I'm going to use for my cell activator and it'll all make sense when I show you what I'm going to do I've mixed up some colors that are covered over here I've got one color that is Ooh, it's very thick it is the violet Liquitex basics and I mix the pouring medium into it already and if you want to thin it out don't add water just add more of your polyacrylic which is kind of watery just add more polyacrylic to it and if you want shimmer I'm going to add Artist Loft iridescent medium in the tube here and I'm going to this is a good amount of uh, purple I've mixed up quite a lot but I do want it to have some shimmer so I'm going to just put a healthy little squirt of the iridescent medium and let's see what that looks like stir it up in here but instead of thinning with water, we're going to thin with polyacrylic. So I'm trying to avoid using water with any of these, and we're not using silicone with any of these either. It's all based on the formula and the chemical reaction of the products that we're mixing together. And that does add a beautiful sparkle to the purple. I don't know if you can see. but there is a shimmer to that so that's the deep purple I've got Perlex pigment powders and this one is violet duo violet so that color is already mixed up right here and it's kind of it's almost like a color shift kind of look to it it's got of a pearly mauvey lavender color and then I've mixed up the Perlex powder uh, silver so that is ready to go and I'm gonna mix a couple of others just so you can see me do it Perlex I've got this in a 32 piece set which is on my Amazon link below the video so these are what the little containers they're three gram containers that come in the um, this package 
So I'm going to mix up a lavender. So what you do is it's a powder. You get your popsicle stick and you just load up a healthy little dose of powder. I'm going to put just a little bit more in. So you see I have very little in there. And basically, it, because it is powder, you have to mix it with something that will bind together with the powder and not make it lumpy to go into the pouring medium. So instead of water, uh, we're going to use polycrylic. We're going to use polycrylic as our binder with this powder. So I'm going to take this powder and just mix it into this polycrylic and you'll just see the uh, powder just kind of dissolve into the polycrylic. And it's a beautiful shimmery, kind of a bluish purple, but it's called lavender, I think. That's what I said. It's gorgeous though. And it has a color shift feel to it. It's really, really pretty. Actually, I think I want to put a little bit more in there. Misty lavender is what it's called. So I'm going to just tap in because it's so pretty. I want a little more of that one. So again, I'm just stirring it already into the polycrylic I have in here already. But this helps your powder dissolve and it makes it nice and smooth and then you add your pouring medium to it. So I'm going to add got my stick here. I'm just going to kind of spoon in with my stick how much I think that I need. It's, I guess it's really more on the consistency that you really need to take care of and not worry about a ratio. It's more about consistency. So I'm just mixing the pouring medium into my pigmented mixture of polyacrylic and Pearlex. And you want it to just kind of drip off that stick pretty freely, but it is thicker. I've noticed on a few videos where other people are doing this bloom technique, sometimes theirs looks a little thinner. So I don't know if they're adding a little bit more polyacrylic into their stuff or not, but anyway, I'm going to leave that as is. It's a pretty color. I'm going to mix some Pearl X Macro Pearl. This is like a, literally like a pearl color. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to put a nice healthy dose of that in. And this is what Pearl X looks like if you get it in a larger. This is 21 grams versus the 3 grams that are in that 32 pack. So this is how they look. And those are all in my Amazon link below the video. So again, this is Macro Pearl, which is kind of a pearly color. I'm going to again add polycrylic to bind to the powder. And then, whoops, take my stick and mix that powder in. And it's just a beautiful pearl color. Very shimmery. I'm doing this in preparation. I'm going to do these. I've got five tiles that I'm going to paint on. And if, you know, I'm just hoping to work on my bloom technique and just to get it a little bit more down pat. You can always rinse it off if it doesn't look right and do it again. And then I've got someone who wants the purple toned um, tiles, coaster set. And I thought, well, let me practice on the six inch until I can find me the four inch tiles, which I've ordered. I'm just waiting for them to come in to Home Depot. So again, this is the pouring medium. I'm just sticking in with my stick instead of trying to pour it out of the container and get it all over the edge of the container. I'm just kind of dumping it in with my big stick, my craft stick. So 
and this is like more than I'll ever ever need for five tiles but I have little lids that I can close these containers up and again they just kind of pour off the stick it's kind of thickish but it runs in a steady stream so that is pearl okay so now we're gonna do we're gonna do a two paint I want you to see and what I'm going to do is put my pouring medium into the container first and then just squirt some metallic gold into it. Because with the purple, I put way too much paint into it. So this time I'm just going to squirt in a little and mix that. This is the Old Gold by Artist Loft. I'm going to mix it into that pouring medium and I probably put even too much gold paint into here and if I need to lighten it up and make it more liquidy I'm going to add polyacrylic instead of water to make it a little more runny because I put, I put too much gold in there I put too much purple in I'm so used to using larger quantities of paint when I'm doing regular fluid pours and this takes so very little so I'm just used to putting away so much, too much paint compared to the pouring medium you know that's pretty I'm gonna I'm gonna even add a little bit of the pearlescent medium here just a little just a little squeeze just to see if it shimmers it up any more than it already is because you know the old gold from Artist Loft is pretty but it's not super flashy I should have used Deco Art 24 karat gold now that I think about it that would have really been beautiful that helped it with the shimmer it gives it more sparkle but I think I need more polyacrylic so I'm gonna have lots of gold here but again I'll be covering these with little lids so I can use them and the next day or two if I get a chance they'll be sealed up and protected so they won't dry out okay it's still a little bit thick but that will work okay and just constantly when you're mixing these up constantly scrape your edges and your stick off so that there's no thick parts left anywhere on the sides or on your stick that don't get mixed in with that paint so I've got the deep purple I got silver and gold pearl two shades of violet I guess that'll be it that's why I'm gonna that's the only thing I'm gonna have mixed up I do believe so we're gonna give it a go here got my, my handy little hammer from Northern uh, Harbor Freight it's uh, like a little three dollar hammer it's fabulous it's a little small hammer from Harbor Freight and it's the perfect size for doing pours again we're gonna do a pillow of paint first on the uh, surface of the tile again this is a pure white and it's semi gloss and what I'm gonna do is just put it down on some cups I tell you what I'm gonna do I've got a piece of cardboard cardstock it's kind of thick I'm gonna try a little puddle of this on here and then I'm gonna try my bloom just to see how my paints are gonna work so here's my cell activator I'm gonna put my little stick in there and get it ready that's the one that has the glue and Floetrol, Amsterdam Titanium White, Liquitex White Acrylic Ink Drops, and Menwax Pre-Stain Wood Conditioner. The only thing I had not done was I was going to put some of this in a container. I really didn't have a container about the size that I wanted or like a squeeze bottle, so I'm going to pour it into a cup for now. So I'm just going to put a little puddle of white. Now on the tile I'm going to use way more. This is just like a little mini 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 experiment. 
just to see if my recipe is right and I've got it mixed right. We don't really use heat torches in this bloom effect, so hopefully I can get whatever bubbles out. Only really the ones that have bubbles more so are the two paints, but you can use craft bottle paints or anything with this style. So you just kind of put a little puddle down. Hmm. I'll do gold, silver, lavender, gold. Put my cups in the order I'm using them so I can remember it in case I like the, the way it looks. Um, I'll do the duo color. So pretty. Pearl. Which almost looks like silver, but it's lighter and it's very sparkly because it is purely pearl X. Okay, then the purple, which is really thick. And I may be putting down way too much paint for this puddle of white that I used, but anyway. And then the cell activator. This looks thicker than other people's stuff. So there's my puddle. So I got the effect right off the get-go. I just didn't blow it enough that way, but that's okay. I'm just going to give it a few minutes and see what it looks like before I go any further. You kind of let the paint settle back towards the center. It's supposed to do better that way. And it's a slow stretching game, which this is not going to stretch a lot because I don't have paint around here. It's very cool though. It looks like you're looking through layers and it looks very transparent. That's really bizarre how it did that. I think I don't care for the silver underneath because it kind of makes it look a little grayish, greenish. So I think I'm going to leave the silver out on the first tile and see how it goes. So you put down a very healthy amount of pillow paint, which is just straight white house paint. Very healthy. I'm going to go ahead and just spread it. So that's, that's pretty right there. I think I'm going to leave that. So there's that one. I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but it has some pretty, pretty shimmer going on. Go ahead and put the white cell activator on and blow this one too.
There's that one. So I want to try black as my cell activator. I don't have um, black Liquitex ink, but I, you know I can put everything else that call it calls for in the cell activator. I can put that into some black. So I may try one with black. I did black. And I need one part glue compared to this, so two parts flow troll, so twice as much or the same amount as it's already in there. Skip the uh, acrylic ink and just go with a few drops of this because, which is, it's very liquidy. So this is oil based and it's got the odor like kind of like turpentine does because it's oil based. Alright, we're going to try the last one with black just for fun. And I again I use Deco Art Black so it was a craft paint so it's uh, way thinner than the two paint is. But we're going to try that just for fun. This is my little mini leaf blower. Just wanted to see what effect it would have. Take those little ridges and just roll them over because I want to keep that purple there. All right, we're going to switch this one up a bit and you still do the white pillow. Looks pretty good. Quite lovely. I don't know if you can see. There's not enough light, I don't think, to see. It almost looks three-dimensional on this one. It's so cool. This may have to be made into something. I'm not sure what, but it's so pretty. Okay, that wraps up that video. I think that was my most successful third attempt at the Shelley art style. Shelley Carruthers in Australia. So check her out and I'll put the links below the video and the coupon for 15% off if you want to purchase her course. 
and all the pictures of the products I use. So I hope you learned something from this one and I will see you on the next video. Check out all the links below where it says show more on your laptop or the down arrow on your mobile device. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.